Hello YouTube gaming community, this is Switch Gaming coming at you today and today we are going to be talking about yet another subscription service, this time in the form of the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and specifically the Xbox Game Pass for PC. So since E3, me for one, being an Xbox gamer and a PC gamer, was very excited for this service. Since 2016, I have been playing Forza Horizon 3 and I thought it was amazing to finally get the Xbox games on a PC platform optimized to the PC. And depending on what computer you have, you can literally take the service, the quality, past that of the console counterparts. So, it started with Forza Horizon 3. I thought it was amazing. Then I played Gears of War Ultimate, Gears of War 4. So since then recently, they brought out a subscription service which offers a lot more. So I was able to play Forza Horizon 4 and Gears 5 using the subscription service for a subscription fee. I am really impressed and got to say it's one of the best moves that Microsoft have done bringing their games to the computer. It is also really good revenue for them. So the Xbox Live Gold entitles you to a lot. First of all, you get 100 high quality games for a monthly fee. So at the moment, we are looking at $15.95 per month. Sign up now, two months for $2. I mean, amazing. 100 high quality games, I'm really impressed. So what we can do, I've looked into it, and joining the Xbox Gaming Pass, it will upgrade your remaining Xbox Live Gold, or if you have an Xbox Game Pass for console, you can add it so you have that Xbox Live Gold, and it extends to the PC for a monthly fee of $15.95. Need I say more? I can tell you now, have you ever wanted to play a Forza Horizon game without, you know, thinking you're betraying another console, <coughs> Sony? Well, now you can. Just have a subscription and you can play Xbox games on PC and you can still call yourself a PC gamer. I mean, take a look at this. Yeah, falls her eyes and falls good, you dog. Yeah. We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. I, for one, cannot afford to upfront sixty to one hundred and twenty dollars, considering it's a deluxe edition every time a game comes out. And God knows, I play a ton of games every year, so I really do think that this is a good option and. For Microsoft Xbox, I think it's one of the best things they could have done. They haven't had a strong presence since the Xbox One, let's be honest. Sony have absolutely annihilated this generation's console war. But doing this for the next generation, Xbox are setting themselves up for success. The subscription here, the amount of games that are going to be coming from Microsoft Game Studios is going to be phenomenal. It's going to match everything that we hoped they would do this generation for the next one. PC gaming and Xbox, one the same. Soon we're gonna think of Xbox, we're gonna think of PC. Their games on PC have been optimized. Now you can play them for a fee and get all the games that you wanna play, first party and some great third party games on release day. Gears of War 5 for me was a great test. It was ready to go, I played it three days early amazing game fee $15 a month so for me it worked out brilliantly and it's everything they said it would be since e3 i have dug i have dived in and i can tell you i'm really impressed very impressed it's the future of xbox is looking bright it's looking green okay let's get the elephant out of the room the microsoft store is horrible it is disgusting. I hate it. Everyone hates it. It is just shit to use. It's shit to function. And nothing is simple. Though, the companion app for Xbox is much better on PC. It does help, but it still does take you to the Windows Store. Trying to find anything or do anything on this store, I can tell you, you're a brave person. You're braver than me. Just trying to get downloads, updates, DLC is a nightmare. However, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Head of Xbox himself, Phil Spencer, has said, and I quote, 
of. He is all too familiar with the company's shortcomings. When it comes to a PC side business, anyone who has ever attempted to download a game from Windows 10, the store will show you how inconsistent, clunky, and frustrating it can be at performing such simple tasks, from failed downloads, inexplicable issues when launching installed games, and other problems. The Windows Store is simply inadequate, which 100% is. Phil Spencer knows the store experience is not where it needs to be, and once again, he's promising change. Delivering great gaming experience to PC players is critical, and it's very important to the future of Xbox and gaming at Microsoft. Thank you, Phil. With the next generation Xbox codename Scarlet hitting, and the array of games and studios that Microsoft have taken, now is an excellent time to have a subscription service to experience the next generation that is coming. On Xbox Scarlet and PC, the game's lineup is not to be missed. Seeing the caliber of Gears 5, if the games are anything like that, holy crap. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Head of Xbox Phil Spencer has dropped hints about what's coming for the next generation. Uh, looking now, the amount of studios that Microsoft have brought is actually quite breathtaking. So they are remaining quiet and I think E3 and Gamescom 2020, we are going to be blown away as Xbox fans. So the Xbox subscription service is a start to all this. Getting what's coming and having the subscription for $15.95 a month or having Xbox One, PC, all under the same account with the pass for a fee, Xbox Live Gold. I mean, Microsoft know what they're doing. Their strategy here is actually appealing to more than just one audience. Casual gamers or people who want to try something and can't afford $60 to $120 this is a great service for you. You can even do it as a trial. Microsoft at the moment have it for two months for $2. Need I say more? You're not going to be broke or have no money by testing this out. And you can cancel once your subscription or the months are over. It is now a really good time to jump in and explore what Microsoft have to offer. So, in summary... Xbox Game Pass has unlimited access to over 100 high-quality games with titles added all the time, whether you play on a console, whether you play on a computer, or simply both. So for me, I went the ultimate plan. It just worked out better that way. I do use my Xbox One X a lot. So for having that and also using my PC and using the Xbox One app, it was right for me. Ultimate was definitely the best choice. Um, couldn't go wrong. So in summary here also, the Xbox Game Pass with all the benefits Multiplayer is a big issue. Um, obviously, with the Game Pass, you do get Xbox Live Gold, and that is a massive plus. So, you have an Xbox Live Gold subscription, you have an Xbox Game Pass subscription, and you want now to have an Xbox Game Pass PC subscription. So, for $5 more, they put them all together for you, so you can have one subscription per month coming out of your bank account, direct debit. So it all comes out at once and you pretty much get everything or the best that Xbox have to offer. So again, for me, it just works out well. I think this is a really good service. Able to find the breakdown of the charges and what you are looking at, the nitty gritty things. So I know a lot of people with my previous video, my Uplay subscription, uh, wanted to know more of this type of information. So I did have a bit of a dig here to see what was going on. And I've got to say, it seems like it's all pretty fair. So from what I'm seeing here with the gold service, uh, it says pretty much, so you join the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Plan. You can redeem your Xbox Live Gold and Game Pass codes. These codes automatically convert to your Game Pass Ultimate. So it's like a pro rata basis. So if you have any vouchers or anything for Xbox, you can actually use the system there to convert them. So once again, Xbox have thought about this and they are um, yeah, giving Xbox gamers and PC gamers peace of mind. And you're also not losing anything or missing out by doing this service. So that pretty much wraps up my view in... In the Xbox Game Pass. Um, I hope you found this video insightful and you did learn something a bit more in case you didn't know about it. Um, thank you so much for all the support lately on my channel. I do appreciate it. And as you know, 
please do like and subscribe. It helps me out. Every bit of kindness goes a long way. And until next time, this is Switch Gaming, out. Thank you.